Hey guys! In celebration of our December Seize the Day boxes, we thought it would be fun to put together a little video recommending some books where the characters have to overcome, like, obstacles. Um, these can be all sorts of different obstacles um, and all sorts of different genres. So without further ado, let's get to the books. So first up I wanted to talk about Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. This is a story about two friends, um, Emily and Sloane. Emily is kind of more uh, shy and reserved, whereas Sloane is definitely the more charismatic, outgoing one of them. One summer, Sloane actually disappears, and she leaves behind a list of different kind of summer dares that she wants Emily to try so that she can come out of her shell. Some of the dares include things like dance until dawn, kiss a stranger, go skinny dipping, and more. And a lot of them have to do with things that only happen in the summer, which just made it a very fun read. I really loved watching Emily come out of her shell and just go on all of these little misadventures with with a new group of friends and I just think it was a really fun read. So first up I have Paige Mahoney from The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Now this is a kind of near future fantasy dystopian book set in London in England um, and Paige Mahoney is a clairvoyant but being a clairvoyant in London is illegal. She works for an underground crime syndicate um, and she has the ability to walk through people's dreams. Now Paige, as you would imagine, is quite a hard character, um, kind of having grown up being told that what she is is wrong and having to live a life of crime, and one day she's actually drugged and put to sleep and then sent to prison in the city of Oxford. Once the clair clairvoyants are sent to the city, they are then assigned to be kind of the minions of other beings called Raphaites, which aren't human, um, and they are kind of overruled by these other intense beings. Now obviously this is the first book in a huge series that's only three books are done right now but I absolutely love it. From the beginning of this novel to where Paige has ended up even now just three books in is just such a huge difference and I feel like she is constantly defying the odds and um, just essentially refusing to give up even though everything is always against her. She's a very fascinating character. This book is really good. I totally recommend the series if you haven't read it yet. And another book that I wanted to recommend is The Scorpio Races by Maggie Seawater. This is a story that takes place on a fictional island um, and every November the residents partake in a race. Now, they're not racing just normal horses. They're actually racing horses that come out of the ocean and they are kind of magical, fierce horses that are known to be violent and even eat people. I chose this book for this video because our main character, Puck, is the first girl to ever enter the race and partake. Um, she not only has to deal with the obstacles of the race itself, but also the judgment of all of the other townspeople. I also just think that this is an amazing book that doesn't get enough credit and I just think everybody should give it a try. Next I have Vin from the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. So Vin at the beginning of this novel is completely unaware of what she's able to do. She's kind of the pawn of gangs for reasons unbeknownst to her and the amount that Vin changes in this book is absolutely astonishing. She kind of gets taken under the wing of a character named Kelsier and he teaches her just how many amazing things she can do and she embraces this full-heartedly. Uh, now she has a lot of trust issues having grown up uh, discarded on the streets basically and but she's also forced to do things in here that you wouldn't expect from a character of this nature. Like she's forced to be girly and have to act um, and go to balls and things, which is completely something she would never have done in her own life. And she's just such a fascinating character. And I think through all three books, you see her kind of become this just huge personality in this world. Um, Miss Bourne is obviously a fantasy classic. It is so good. I think if you like Six of Crows, you're gonna love this book as well. It kind of definitely has the same thing going on with it. She has very Inej vibes. Um, but yeah, this is just such a good story and Brandon Sanderson's storytelling is phenomenal. Next up is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This I consider almost like a classic now. Um, our, it's about our main character, Kath, going to college for the first time. Kath has always been quite introverted and she's also um, used to using her twin sister kind of like as a shield and a way to make friends because she's really outgoing but her twin decides that she wants to spend college apart. So this story just follows Kath dealing with her social anxiety at college, meeting new people, 
going to classes um, and I just related with her so much and I love watching her journey. Next I have Samantha from Under a Painted Sky by Stacey Lee. Um, this is a Gold Rush era historical fiction novel following our main character Samantha who is a Chinese American girl. Um, at the beginning of this book, through some tragic events, she is forced to flee west to the gold rush with an escaped slave named Anime. Now, it is obviously not safe for two women, especially two women of color, to be traveling alone in this gold rush era, so they disguise themselves as boys. They run into a group of young and charming cowboys that, that take them into their group and uh, help them on their journey out west. It is just a story of overcoming all of life's obstacles, of uh, finding trust in places you don't think you could, and there's great, um, just amazing friendship story in here, and Samantha's journey uh, is just so beautiful, and there's a cute romance, and it's just a phenomenal book. I think if you like historical fiction, you'll definitely appreciate this one. And next up is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertelli. This is a story about twin sisters Molly and Cassie. Cassie falls in love for the first time, and this causes Molly to question her own love life. Molly's had a lot of crushes in the past, but she's never been willing to put herself out there and thus she's never had a relationship before. She struggles quite a bit with anxiety and body image issues and she's very, very scared of rejection. This story takes place during the summer and we follow Molly as she is working in her part-time job, planning her mother's wedding, meeting new friends, and also meeting some new boys. I absolutely loved Molly's character growth and I related with her quite a bit and the romance in this book was just too adorable for words. Next up, I have Katie from The Magicians by Love Grossman. Now Katie is not our main character in here, but she is somebody who definitely overcomes the odds. So The Magicians is all about a magical college instead of uh, like a high school as you would think, like a boarding school, and we follow our main character Quentin Coldwater who is accepted into this exclusive college by passing a magical test. Now Katie is his best friend and Katie fails the test, so she is kicked out of the college and all memory of magic is erased from her mind, but she won't accept this. She kind of finds a way to find illegal magic in the world outside of the college and is determined to make magic her own. This book is definitely an adult book, it's set in college, it's full of, you know, drugs and drinking and sex and it's, it's violent and it's weird but it's really really fun and I think if you want like the grown-up Harry Potter Harry Potter or Narnia this is a very Narnia vibes in it as well I think you'll like this book a lot of the characters are unlikable so it's polarizing but I found it fascinating and last but not least is Love Life and the List by Casey West this book comes out on December 26 and I highly recommend picking it up this is about a girl named Abby who wants to take part in an art show at a local gallery but the curator tells her that her art unfortunately has no heart to it this causes Abby to create a list of things she wants to try to help her gain more life experience and she spends a month trying to accomplish everything on this list with her best friend Cooper, who she's also secretly in love with. This book was so much fun and so heartwarming, and I just loved going on Abby's journey of self-discovery. And my final book is going to be Magnus Chase from the Magnus Chase series by Burke Riordan. Now, at the beginning of the series, Magnus Chase is a homeless teenage boy in New York City. Um, at the very beginning of the novel, he quickly dies and then is <laughs> taken to Valhalla by a Valkyrie. In Valhalla, uh, it is revealed to Magnus that he is a demigod, a Norse demigod, and he is going to fight and be resurrected every single day of his life in order to prevent Ragnarok. Magnus is such a fun and charming and lovable character despite coming from this horrible background, and I just think all of what he overcomes in these three novels is fantastic and he will charm you too. All right, so that was some of the books that we enjoyed that feature characters that kind of have to overcome adversity in their lives in some way or another. We'd love to hear some recommendations from you as well in the comments. As per usual, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Bye. Bye.